All right, here's the end of a sycamore limb and another sycamore here. Let's take a look at that shoulder. That shoulder is really well developed now. And that tree has had plenty of time to compartmentalize off the decay and put all that extra growth there to kind of stabilize that area and make it strong, even though there's going to be decay in there. This extra wood here is creating a strength now to the cylinder. That if, even if you get a little hollow in there, it's not going to be the kind of hollow that destabilizes the whole rest of the tree. So we've given the tree time, and all I did was make this cut out, whatever that is, two and a half feet, probably. And then this one, similar deal, although I left a few live branches on there, it just wasn't enough to make it with all the shade coming in above. So now we'll just cut these two stubs off and let the tree compartmentalize and seal over as best it can. Yes, there's going to be a hollow there, but is that, is that a better cut there to do it in a two-step process than possibly violating the, the branch protection zone here on that big cut, whatever that is? That's going to be, you know, five inches on the high side, six inches. If we violate the branch protection zone on that, then you destabilize the whole top of this tree. This tree is going to outlive me at this point. You know, I, I'd say it's got at least another 40, 50 years. That's not going to make a difference there. Whereas a bad cut, if we just try to, let's say this cut here, if you just tried to eyeball this cut, where would you make the cut? You'd make it here, you'd probably be okay, but would that really be worth taking a chance on? You know, wouldn't it be better to make a cut out here and give it a few years and then come in and cut the stub off later? So that's what we're doing. Thanks for watching.